Hello guys and welcome to the next random pack opening. Today we will do uh, yet another pack opening battle and this time it will be versus Sello Kaiba. So it's like Sello Kaiba but with an L instead of a T. Um, we will open, as you can see, two sets of the uh, legendary collection reprints. So two boosters of each that's in there. And basically it's going to be the same as always. Um, so we will both open the same boosters and you guys um, please check out both of the videos. So mine and Sello Kaiba's um, video. The link will be in the description as always. And please leave a comment on either video um, who you think got the better pulls from the boosters. Um, a little bit about Sello Kaiba, um, he is pretty new. I know he's a ch uh, German viewer of mine and he enjoys um, opening packs as well. So he started his own YouTube channel like a month ago. And he has some cool openings over there, like he opened a first edition uh, Spanish Blue Eyes White Dragon box. So definitely go check that out. And he also opened a 36 pack Dark Crisis um, box, uh, English version. Then of course he's also opening some reprints and other stuff. So he has some cool content. Definitely go and check him out. Yeah. So without further ado, um, let's open these packs. I think I'll just start out with Dark Crisis since it's my least favorite set, and then just go in whatever order. And yeah, again, you can't open these reprint packs without um, demolishing them. So we're starting out with Deathrook Archfiend, Battle Scarred, Wild Pawn Archfiend. Mastering of the Dark Scorpions, Archfiend Soldier, that's a pretty cool card, 1900 beat stick, Really Eternal Rest, Machu Garzet. Um, this guy, I always wondered why he even existed, because in the same set there was the rare version, and the rare version is always better than this guy, because um, he needs two tributes, and his attack is always the combined attack of the two tribute monsters, while the other dude um, needs only one tribute, and his um, attack will be a double the attack of the tribute monster, so you can always tribute just one monster that's the stronger one of the two you have, and the other guy will always be stronger than this one. So I never really understood the concept of that monster, it's kind of weird. And then we have Agido and Shooting Star Bow Steel. Alright, let me put these aside. Um, let's continue with Pharaoh Servant. Alright, we got a Metal Detector, Gradius, 7 Completed, Darkfire Soldier number 1, Nobleman of Extermination, Skull Mariner, Island Turtle, Spikepot, and Dogfire Soldier number two. So both Dogfire Soldiers in one pack. Way back in the day I was actually playing these um, Dogfire Soldiers because they were pretty strong with 1700 and 4 stars. And as a kid when you did not have any better monsters because you didn't buy a lot of packs, then these guys were pretty good. Then we have a Stone Ogre Grotto, Snake Fang, Mystic Plasma Zone. <laughs> oh come on, like seriously? Uh, for you guys who watched um, the other openings of mine, um, this is, I always pull this card, I don't know. I think I pulled like three of these already. Two in the uh, Battle vs. the Old School Expert and another one later, I believe. This is kind of ridiculous. I keep pulling this card. Wow. I can't even believe it, I pulled it again. Okay, let's see. Um, Karate Man. That's actually rare, right? Yeah. Electric Snake. Chicken Bakudan. Wall Shadow and Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Man, I'm dreading to open this second Spell Ruler pack. I bet you it's going to be another one of these. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can pull from Metal Riders. I'm still looking for the Scout Dragon. Let's see. German Faction. Blue Winged Crown. Kochi Kosi, or Koki, I don't know how you pronounce that. Petite Moth. Milo's Radiant, Thunder Dragon, that's a pretty cool pull. I believe in the original it was short printed, but um, I'm not sure if these reprint packs have any short prints or if they just printed all the cards the same. If you know um, more about that, please leave a comment. Because um, I watched a lot of openings of these reprints on YouTube and uh, people seem to always pull short prints, so I'm not really sure if these cards are even short printed anymore. Yeah, but anyway, the Bikuri Box, Illusionist Faceless Mage, and Insect Soldiers of the Sky. Alright, let's go with IOC next. Well, so far it's not looking good, and Salo Kaiba probably has better pulls than me. At least better than the Black Pendant. 
Jade Insect Whistle, Amphibious Book Rod MK3, Multiplication of Ants, Hero Emerges, Ultra Evolution Pearl, Energy Drain, Skullmark Ladybug, Earth Chant, and a Don Turtle. Yeah, that Ultra Evolution Pill was really uh, pointless back in the day because there weren't really a lot of dinosaur monsters that were really good or playable. Okay, let's see what we can get from the AOB pack. Taihon, Skull Servant, Mountain, Skull Red Bird, Grave Digger Ghoul, Succubus Knight, Kurama, Mystical Moon, and an Enchanting Mermaid. Alright, so we're halfway through, through the packs. Um, I guess let's do the same order again. It's kind of um, how much I like these packs, so let's start out with Dark Crisis. Ray of Hope. Rod of the Mind's Eye. Goblin of Greed. And here we go with a different Dimension Dragon. I always uh, kind of like the holographic of this card because in a lot of cards what they did is um, they made the surroundings holographic and the picture of the monster itself and um, not holographic and with that one it's kind of reverse. So that's really cool. But again not a very um, good or strong card. So we did get uh, two super rares so far, not looking too good. Legendary Flame Lord, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Drag Down into the Grave, Archfiend's Roar, and Keldo. Alright, so what did I pull next? Uh, I think it was the PSV pack, right? Minor Goblin Official, Steel Ogre Crotto number 2, Shadow of Eyes, Oni Tank T34, The Shallow Grave, Gift of the Mystical Elf, Darkfire Soldier number 2, Enchanted Javelin and a Spike Bot. A lot of duplicate cards from the first pack we had. Alright, so let's go with Spell Ruler. Gravekeeper's Servant. I'm not sure, I believe this might be a short print as well in the original. Commencement Dance. Hungry Burger. And oh, that's cool. A Spellbinding Circle. It was like one of the first uh, trap cards that you could play after a trap hole. It looks really cool. It's also the circle that's behind um, Exodia and the... Uh, yeah, Exodia, I believe. Not the best or coolest pull from Sparrow, but still really nostalgic and awesome. Yugi was always playing that card in the enemy. So cool. Now it's looking pretty decent here. Mystic Tomato. Performance of Sword. Twin Long Rods number 2, Boar Soldier, and Spear Coutine. Right, so I think if we pull um, one more foil, then we're pretty good here. And I don't know what um, Selo Kaiba pulled. He told me he already recorded the video, but he didn't tell me if his pulls were good or not, so I'm not sure what we're competing against here. We have um, a Harpy Lady with the Sensored Artwork, Giltia the D Knight. Musician King, like the weirdest fusion monster ever. It's like two ladies and they become this rock star dude. We have a Crass Clown. Starboy, definitely um, the strongest and best rare in the whole set. We have a Flame Cerberus. Blast Chuggler. This guy looks kind of bright compared to the other cards. Weird. We have a Battle Steer. And an Ogochi. Alright, then to the second Invasion of Chaos. Oh, that's cool. Smashing Ground. Giga Gaga Gigo. That guy was also kind of cool. If you played Legendary Ocean, um, the Legendary Ocean reduces the stars by one, so you could um, normal summon this guy because he only had four stars then, and uh, he also gets a boost from the uh, field uh, spell. So you can normal summon a pretty strong monster. We have Boganian, Amphibious Bookrod MK3, Robin Zombie, Recycle, another Skullmark Ladybug, Energy Drain, and Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. 
All right, and the last pack. I really hope we pull another foil. One time, um, LOB pulled through with an Exodia piece. Maybe we can do it again. We have um, King Fox, Electro Whip, Frenzied Panda, Hinotama Soul, Fusionist. Well, I guess at least we have a decent rare. The Furious Seeking, Sparks, Flame Manipulator, Dark World Thorns. Yeah, guys, so uh, I think um, Salo Kaiba probably won. The pulls are not the best. I mean, we did pull three foils, but really not too exciting. And especially this black pendant, I really don't know what's going on with these spell ruler packs. It's kind of weird. It's, I believe it's the four I pulled. I'll, I'll have to check how many of these I have now. I really hope I don't pull any more from any other packs I still have. Um, yeah, so we pulled the black pendant, the different dimension track, and the spellbinding circle. Again, as always, um, the link to Salo Kaiba's video will be in the description. Please check him out. And um, as I said, leave a comment who uh, you think pulled the better cards. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.